does, but yeah. He's been, he hasn't been using him as much because Kirby seems to be working out a lot more for him. Yeah, he's also got a Sheik. Uh, I don't know if he's really playing Sheik that much after yeah. the patch, but uh, yeah, Sonic and Kirby, and, and the it's almost entirely matchup based for him. Who yeah, I, I definitely, I saw him bust out Sonic once at a pound tournament and it, he just got bodied, so he went, he was fighting Mr. R. And he, he oh, pulled okay. out Sonic and Mr. R just bodied the Sonic, <laughs> so he went back to Kirby. I was like, okay, let's just put that character on the back burner. Yeah. And I, I'm curious to see what he can do with Kirby. Yeah, he's, he's going to start off with Kirby against uh, Mikkel's Fox. Obviously, Mikkel is the king uh, of side Bs. I so can already tell. Like, he's Mi hoping for the footstools off stage. And the down air yeah. footstool. Nonsense. And Kid Goggles is a, kind of a technical player with yeah. all, like, all of his up tilts. And he plays yeah, no, he's slow. No slouch, yeah. He plays slow. He, he forces you to match his pace. He's exactly. going like, to walk. He's going to up tilt. He's not going to run very much. That's just the style of play. And, you know. First, and another thing about this pool, uh, Kid Goggles was first seed. Yes. Mikkel being third, you know, opting to beat... Uh, uh, Brett. Brett, yeah. So he, this is the, not the projected winner's match that we have today. So no, but, we're going to uh, see how this goes. Very exciting nonetheless, if not more Winner's so. finals of pools. Winner of this moves on to winner's side, yeah. winner side of top 96 for tomorrow. And being, like, staying in winners when you still so have, like, good. nine more rounds to play. It's very important. Yeah, it's Like, it's if you get out to losers important. in pools, you got... A huge uphill it's battle. It's a mountain to climb. climb. Yeah, you got double the matches to fight. Yeah, and I feel really bad. And well, that's the thing is you don't want to be in losers right now because some of the people in losers right now are Black Twins. Yeah, Supergirl Kells, uh, like uh, JJ Rockets. JJ Rockets. There's so many like Dark very, Aura. Dark Aura. Like there's so many people. Very very there's good there's players. There's so many people in yeah. losers bracket waiting to fight you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're gonna go to Duck Hunt. All right. You know, I wonder. I'm curious. Oh, 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 it's the tree. The tree on the left hand side. Kirby's yeah, up Kirby throw. Kirby can yeah. up throw. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I can see. I don't. I'm not sure why Mikkel wanted this stage. Maybe it was like the whole bay. Like he doesn't want duck cut, so I'm not going to ban it at all. Yeah, it, it might even just be. <laughs> what is, what yeah. is going the on? The thing this is, is this is exactly what this matchup is oh because oh, if I guess fast fallers, yeah. Kirby can use up tilt for days against yeah. him. Uh, maybe Mikkel thought it would have been okay because mm -hmm. it's a big stage, a lot of room for him to run around. So uh, good. Also, you know, uh, Kid Goggles has the ability to just duck those lasers. Yeah. I like how he oh, used he the nair. Him out of it. Wow. Yeah. He used okay. the nair to interrupt side B. Yeah. And if you know, knowing Kid, he's gonna see him keep using the side B yeah, like he did that last set. He's gonna exactly. start punishing it. Yeah. Uh, Kid Goggles not one to uh, uh, like sleep on the same option being yeah. used over and over again. Definitely. He'll figure out a plan for it. As you see here, he's definitely like just trying to find some sort of opening here. It's, it's still pretty even, even though, you know, kids get racked up damage. They're still, like, feeling each other out. Exactly. The neutral still being played. They're both still playing, early on in game one. They're both yeah. playing kind of defensive here. But I, but I guess they're in each other's faces now. He's got him up above him. Nice punish on the uh, dare. I know Kirby's like to use that dare, and then they can immediately do, like, an up tilt or something out of it when yeah. they land on the ground. But Mikkel just had the answer with a very quick up tilt out of shield. Oh, the forward smash is going to kill. The man, he saw him dash across into the stage. him. And he's yeah. just like, I'm just going to F smash you. Oh, he's doing the Kirby dance. He does the waddle. Oh, I love the waddle. <laughs> he gets grabbed for it. There's a Kirby man Might as well just in be New taunting. York that does that. Oh, uh, a, a little kid. I think his name's like Sonic, uh, Rising Sonic. He, oh, okay. do, he does that all the time. And oh, once no, again, oh, no, it's, it's going to happen. It you begins. Just, you have to accept it. You know, he, he escapes because the Kirby yeah. messed up. And I mean, it's very important when you're in a situation like that where you're getting. Yo, he reads him to the left! Where you're getting comboed by something that feels kind of stupid to take a look down, see how much percent you took, and just take a breather. Because yeah. he got hit like eight times in a row and it did like 22%. It's not that big of a deal. Don't get frustrated over it. Keep your composure. Not roll to the left. Exactly. Hit by exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and the tree is going to seal the this deal. You do out. not want to get grabbed by Kirby on Duck Hunt on the left side of the stage. That's what they want, that's yep. what they're after. I just I cannot believe that hammer. That was ridiculous. Oh my goodness. That, like he like he sent him. He was comboing him to the right, and he knew he had to roll a direction. And and he's like, like, "What's the worst thing that's gonna happen if I charge this hammer?" Oh, you roll into it. Yeah, exactly. By almost killing you out of the. And I mean, and that's the thing too is that ch hammer wasn't very charged at that point, so I don't even know if like F Imagine smash would have done more damage. It's just the disrespectfulness. It, it was of totally just hammer. disrespect. <laughs> it's like I love it. Here it comes. Yeah. I mean, it's disrespectfulness, but it's also like getting your opponent's head. If you do oh, something absolutely. like that, absolutely. It, 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 it's a mind game. That's what it is. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay, I've got an example of that. Uh, there's we have a player named David Gibbs. He plays. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, do you, what does he play? He plays Game and Watch, 
And his claim to fame is beating Goggles every single time he comes to Canada. Yeah. Every single time they have to play in bracket for some reason, and he's beat him every single time. It's like 4-0 or 3-0 or something like that. That's funny. Uh, David Gibb is kind of disrespectful in that same sense where it's Ooh. entirely to get into your head. Yeah. And we played uh, a weekly tournament the other day, and or like it was a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. and I three-stalked him. And I'm feeling really good about myself, and then I SD at zero and he taunts, and that immediately put me on tilt. And he ended up the beating taunt. me because I just I was on tilt. Even though, on tilt. even though I played well enough to three stock him earlier on in the set. And Goggles is also that kind of player who there's a very mental aspect to him like trying to make you not want to play. And yeah. if you don't want to play, you've already lost. Definitely. And Kid opting to go to Bayonetta this match. Yes. Not sure what's with the I think it's uh, just him testing out characters. And again, I it's the disrespect yeah. thing too. I, I I can see that as well. He like, also doesn't like to stay the same character more than once. Like he likes very, to mix it very up. often, he'll play three different characters in a set. So win or lose, wow. he'll change. It that doesn't matter. That M-Smash was hoping that Fox would dodge to the yeah, left. Yeah, exactly. Now, as we know, we are running 1.1.6 here. So yes. Bayonetta is nerfed a little bit. Uh, Substantially. Yeah, so, yeah <laughs> sorry. I, that, that was being generous. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so a lot of our combos, the death combos, yeah. still don't work as much. But our witch time is still, still active. Still very good character. To, you yeah. have to respect the witch time. Yeah, it's still you a thing that you exists. You cannot be pushing buttons. You have to, no. like, respect. You have to, like, be on point the whole time. It's a very go frustrating for, thing to play against. Go for grabs. Hold yeah. shield, you know? Yeah. She doesn't get too much out of shield, so. No. Or grab. Well, I mean, fourth row eventually kills, yeah. but. Uh, at low percents, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Oh, he's going to get this combo. Not going to connect, though. Oh. What? Wow. All right, so that's Reason, the first time I've seen that. You know, and Mikkel missing the tech, so he, you know, proceeds to get bodied yeah. by the F smash. So he could go for uh, side B here. Now, the thing is, like, you know, it's one of those things where, like, are you sure you should go Bayonetta when the the patch just hit and yeah. you, you haven't had too much time to experiment with the new mechanics? Because, like, they changed some of the angles of yeah. the moves, too. It's a lot of stuff is very, very hard to link into itself now. I keep seeing Bayo's uh, go for Oh, it. wow. The wall Accidental. Cling. Yeah, Mikkel didn't. No, like, no punish on that. Yep. Just didn't realize what was going on, I guess. It's the grab trying to follow it up with an up air. Not going to be enough for him. I see Kid going for these up tilts over and over. All right, Mikkel in a bad situation right now. Okay, wow. Gets All the right. up tilt to up air. Yeah. You know, kid, you know, shaking it off. He's like, he's back. Fairly even game. Mm -hmm. Both they these characters have insane late and kill potential. Yeah. Oh, you got to be careful. You got yeah, you get have to respect the Bayonetta. very end of it. If this was like before pre patch, that probably would have yeah. been tech. <laughs> but uh, you got you got to respect, you know, dashing in like that against the side beat. Wow, he recovered. Oh. Wow, he made it back, though. Wow. The Magneto that was like hands. maximum, yeah. Yeah. He was at maximum distance. He got back just in time. Yeah, another thing that makes Bayonetta very good is the whole fact that, like, it doesn't matter how many times she up or side bees, she can land with a back air still. So she's not punishable if she misses. Yeah. Like, you have to still respect her and let her land, essentially. Nickel going a little ham here. Oh. Just three attacks. Hits the very last bit of the... Uh, the witch, witch time, Witch yeah. time, yeah. So he doesn't get the... That would have been his death if he would have swung a little bit earlier. You got to be careful when you go a little bit too aggressive. Exactly, because yeah. the Bayonetta might throw out Witch time yeah. randomly. Uh, Kid Goggles has been doing a really good job of keeping Mikkel on the edges of the stage. And it, earlier on, we saw him trying to punish uh, the side B over and over again with like grabs and stuff. And sometimes yeah. it works and sometimes it doesn't. Wow, he just what? charged oh, wow. an F smash. I'm not sure I agree with that. I mean, if he would have got the read, that would have been stock. But, but it's Bayonetta. Yeah. All he had to do was press down B, and that was the end of the game. Yeah, so you got you to be careful with those charge smash attacks. Wow, the kid trying to just shoot some bullets at him with an air. Like, it's a very common philosophy from Brawl players that, like, if <gasps> the character you're playing throw. against... Yeah, the throw's going to close it out. The, if the character you're playing against has a counter, uh -huh. you don't charge smash attacks. And uh, that has been, uh, like, amped up tenfold in this game by, like, how strong counters are, especially mm -hmm. a character like Corrin or Bayonetta in the Witch Time. Um, yeah, it's better to just do one raw and hope for the best. Like yeah. you, don't, you don't charge it. 